All right, today we are gonna talk about the camper we have for sale. It is a 1999 Ford Gulfstream Ultra Supreme that has very, very low miles, miles only 27,800. This camper has had one owner. This is my parents' camper, so they've had it. They put new tires all the way around. They are less than, they put them on last year, about $1,500, and there's probably less than 300 miles on them. The awning, I'm going to go around and show you. The awning is around three years old. It's a brand new awning they had put on. How many feet is awning, Gina? Thank you. As you can see, it's a very large awning. I'm going to go around and show you as much as possible. This camper has lots and lots of storage. We do have a little bit of damage right here because one of the tires blew out a couple years ago. I'll go ahead and open this compartment up and show you. So it was bent from the tire. But that's that's it. There's a rare or an outdoor entertainment center. Has an electric step. And there's also a newer battery that's a year old. Got lots of storage all the way around the bottom. I'm just going to go around the outside and show you. Everything's well cupped. The roof has been resealed. When was it resealed, Mom? Yeah. Two years ago? Yeah. Two years ago. They put a new rubber, they resealed it with a rubber material. It's an E450 Super Duty Triton V10. Like I said, only 27,800. We're tight for space right here, so I'll do my best to show you. Again, tons of storage. Down the side. We did reseal the windows. There was some leakage inside from the windows, which I'll show you when we get inside. There was also some leakage around the vent, which I'll show you when we get inside. There is an outdoor shower. The shower itself still, it needs to be replaced. It's The handle's cracked off. Here's another compartment. This camper has a hitch on it. I'll show you the, this is the largest storage compartment right here. Which as you can see, it's extremely large. We did just replace the water pump. It's brand new. There is a generator on this that only has six hours. It does need some carburetor work because it hasn't been used. This is just the black tank. Where you empty. This is where you empty. Okay, don't open anymore because you all right, I'm going to walk around and show you the inside. Again, here's more of the awning. It's it's a beautiful awning. It's very large. All right, we're going to go inside. 
All right. Like I said, this was my parents' RV, so they took very good care of it, but there is some damage on the walls from the windows leaking at one point. So I will point that out, and I don't want to leave anything a secret. The cushions and everything is, are in really good shape. This goes down to a bed. And then we got this sofa over here that goes down into a bed. And then we have this area up here that is also a bed. So you could probably fit two, three, four, five, seven people comfortably. You could possibly put eight on the couch bed, but as you can tell, this is very, very clean. Not a lot of miles, which is hard to come by in for $19.99. Does have central air that works perfectly. Everything in this camper is in perfect working condition. We have these drawers, which are really nice. We have a new floor here. We had a soft spot on the bottom because the refrigerator was not properly vented out. There's a little rubber hose that is supposed to be on the exterior and it was never there. So the floor has been recently replaced with this wood like purgle type flooring. Stove microwave, refrigerator, all in excellent condition. Everything works. We just took this out to Indiana Dunes about three weeks ago. Let me show you the bathroom. Oh, let me show you in the fridge real quick. Super clean. We also have this large pantry. There's a lot of storage in this camper because you got the overhead storage there. You got the overhead storage there. Storage underneath the bed. Underneath the couch. From the outside though? Yeah. From the outside. Storage underneath both chairs. All right, let's go in the bathroom. Okay, one thing my parents never did was use the shower, so the shower has never been used except for the bath. the bath a couple times when my kids were little. Recently, the seal on the toilet was replaced. So the whole toilet was taken out and um, replaced. Got lots of storage in here. The vent above the stove and the vent in the bathroom are new. Got new fan motors. New fan motors. Alright, let's go back to the master bedroom. This is a queen size bed. Sorry, I'm kind of asking my mom because this is her camper. So, And then we have the storage on each side of the bed. This window here was also leaking, so we have where the paper has come off unglued. All right, and then this bed also lifts up, spring-loaded, and you get tons of storage under here, which is super nice. All right, like I said, we got central air, air and heat. And then um, you can see the hours on the generator which is only six. They never used it, so that's why it's not working. You want to say something about those double blinds? Oh, my mom wants to point out these double blinds because her new camper doesn't have them and she's going to miss them. <laughs> so you have the light filtering and then you have the darkening shades for at night when you go to bed. These are nice too. These are most... You do it, Mom. Most campers don't have these nice shades anymore. Alright. 
I'm trying to think of anything else I can tell you about. What do you want me to show the miles? Wait, you your seat? Oh yeah, I showed that. Oh. All right. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I can send some more video, or oh, here you go. I can um, answer some questions. I will put a list of all the things that have been replaced and are newer. So like I said, the tires are pretty much brand new. Thanks for looking.